Hey guys, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about my new little invention here. Well, hydrogen of its own really isn't anything new to me, but this little guy right here is. Now, as you can see, there's an arc, approximately a 20,000 volt arc. Kind of looks like a cold fusion generator. Now, the purpose of this is actually useful. Hydrogen officially now has a purpose, uh, on demand burning at least, instead of just running around in your room. Uh, here's what I did. So I have a, a ZVS driver. I got one of these off eBay powering a TV flyback transformer. Those old things you'd have on projector TVs back in the day. Um, I have the ground side of it hooked up to the stinger right here. So the stinger is actually the ground rectified side of the DC high voltage plasma as you can see so this wire here I shouldn't be touching it don't do that but this is ground and the positive is actually right here which goes to the cell on this gray wire here and it enters the water it basically is just contacting the pipes and then it completes a circuit. So it's two circuits, one, one 12 volt to run the hydrogen and uh, off the battery charger. And then there's the ZVS driver powering the transformer. That's the other circuit. And that's just so that it can burn. So two reasons why I think this is useful. Number one, it's just plain hydrogen. It's nothing out of the ordinary. You guys have seen electrolysis before. Well, the other credible thing about that with using hydrogen is you can use some kind of ignition to light whatever gas you have coming off of it immediately. And this little metal plate right here gets really hot. I actually just touched it on accident, but you can see it running down into the water. Now here, I'll actually turn the light off so you can see how much light it generates on its own. Yeah, now that's it right there, as you can see. So it generates quite a bit of heat, if I do say so myself. Now I'm not an expert on whether or not this is any form of over unity. I doubt, I doubt it is, but it is high frequency. Um, it is arcs. It is spark gap um, and there is resonance induced off of the ZVS driver which are all three Tesla screaming type things to, to achieve some kind of over unity so I wouldn't be surprised if it's there but I'm not gonna put money on it I know induction heating is the number one most efficient way to heat any appliance that is for cooking and it's better than gas altogether so why not just burn the hydrogen off a of spark gap um, I know not all of it is burning but that'll alleviate a lot of the the losses and you can actually get some real use out of it if you have something like this so yeah that's it um, I don't really have anything else um, haven't really been doing a whole lot lately with hydrogen, so to speak. Uh, I do want to try a quartz layer on one of these tubes and try to use just pure voltage, which I haven't done yet. But yeah, this this here is just plain electrolysis with the high voltage plasma arc coming directly off the water. Two separate sources. Um, and yeah, that's really it. So, um, yeah, I, I like this. I'll probably actually upscale this and make it something useful. In case the power draw is, uh, I can't zoom out here. In case you guys are wondering about the power draw, um, for the arc, the power draw is, let's go see, so 
that is actually not the arc. I want to plug in the the arc right now. So I don't think it's actually sparking. Let me go ahead and get it sparking. There it goes. Okay, yeah, so power draw on the arc is about 78 watts, 79, yeah. So on mains, it's not even an amp, but uh, I'm just following that wire so you guys can see. So it just goes to my 12 volt supplies, and then I do my own fun there, and it goes directly to the ZBS driver and then the ZBS driver powers the transformer and then that's how I get it here you can still see it burning quite nicely but it's not burning the hydrogen because I haven't plugged that in yet um, but if I do you can see that goes to about two amps and that's because this cell is not configured very nicely it's very inefficient so it's really just for fun of anything so once I build a more efficient electrolyzer this will actually have all the use in the world but that's just a real practical demo showing you how you can use very little power and actually get some really good heat off of something oh yeah that's I'm worried it's gonna melt the plastic but yep that's it hope you guys enjoyed